The new Dodge Demon is an absolute monster. It is a 1,000 horsepower Dodge Demon that runs off E85, and the thing is just insane. Dodge actually said it can do a quarter mile in 8.91 seconds, has a theoretical top speed of 215 miles an hour, and it does all of that while being rear wheel drive. You know what the best part about it is? It's made here in Canada. Yep, shout out my fellow Canadians. Anyways, the new Demon 170 costs 100,000 bucks. Now I was thinking, the Dodge Demon 170 is good, but I think I could do better. So I want to challenge myself today in Forza Horizon 5 to build something cheaper faster on the quarter mile and faster top speed wise and do all of it in a rear wheel drive car. It is gonna be the hardest challenge we have ever done. Feel free to try this challenge out for yourself. There are a couple of rules. You are not allowed to use the auction house or any free cars. You must purchase your vehicle from the auto show. Then you can go and do any upgrades you want, obviously minus all wheel drive and all of those upgrades get added into the price. The only other thing to note is all of the welcome pack cars are banned as well. I'm just gonna tell the Dodge Demon to sit down, okay? If you do wanna try this challenge out for yourself, I made a quarter mile drag strip introducing the Hennessy Venom F5. If you thought the Dodge Demon was powerful, this has 2,000 horsepower, nearly. I really hope that's fast enough. Yikes. <laughs> You know it's a bad sign when a car with literally double the horsepower and is lighter is within a second of the demon. Isn't the Hennessy Venom F5 like the fastest car in the world right now or in the game or something like that? All right, well, we good. Hennessy Venom, thank you very much. That was 3 million and 10. And that was a lot of money. I, I think we need something cheaper. The main challenge for this, honestly, I think is going to be getting that drag time. I think if we take the P1 and then toss drag tires on, we should be okay. Anyways, I'm going to toss on drag tires that cost 10,000 bucks and I really hope this is going to be good enough. Come on McLaren P1. So the P1 in the game is rear wheel drive. You need to remember that. Away we go. Come on. Send it. Send it. Set. This feels so slow. This feels incredibly slow. Okay. This is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. Anti-lag on a P1. I'm a happy boy now. Attempt number two. I also opted for some wider rear tires, so hopefully we don't do any more wheel spin. We didn't. Now we've got plenty of horsepower. That was a lot better. That's a bad sign that we're that close. That's such a bad sign. I think we gotta go sub 1 million bucks. The super van could work. The super van's gonna be such a meme. I'm not allowed all wheel drive, but I am allowed to swap the engine. I've got to assume the demon in real life is actually rocking like drag tires, right? I know when it did it's like 8.9 second quarter mile. It was on like a prep drag surface. This is essentially the same thing, sorta kinda. I spent a pretty good amount of money on this, but we're nearly quartering the budget. Um, look at the flames. <laughs> okay, go, go. Immediately off the line. I actually didn't tune the gears, but we should be okay. We're good. Yes. There were people who doubted the super van. It is not called the super van for nothing. Please tell me this can do 200 miles an hour. I know I didn't tune the gears. Why? Why would they only put five gears in a super van? I could just extend them. Please. Please don't ruin me. Okay, come on. Come on. We got him. So that is officially our new budget. Let's go and beat it. The further our budget comes down, the harder and harder this is gonna get. There's so many good cars at like the 300k mark. The Mosler is here. The Ultima GTR, the Ford Mustang, and then all of the Formula Drift cars. Chat really wants the Ultima GTR. I feel confident with the Ultima. I do have two upgrades to do though. All I'm gonna do to the Ultima is say goodbye to the rear wing for extra top speed so we don't have another issue. And 
drag tires. I've spent 11,000 on upgrade. I've got to assume that this thing's fast enough. It's got a thousand horsepower stock. It weighs nothing stock. It's actually got pretty decent gear ratios because it's essentially a track car. So I think it should be okay. Okay. Yo, since when did the Ultima sound nasty like that? Okay, let's go. Come on, 215 miles an hour. Oh, it's not even hard. Oh, easy dubs. 240 miles an hour and it was still accelerating. Don't worry. We're only three times as expensive as a Dodge Demon. There's the Dodge Demon that's actually in the game. Can the Dodge Demon defeat the Dodge Demon? It's gonna need hella upgrades. But I think we have to do it just on principle alone, right? 150k for the Demon. Don't ask me why the Demon in this game is so expensive, by the way. For some reason, the game absolutely nerfs the Dodge Demon, and I honestly couldn't tell you why. The Demon in real life is an insane car and in Forza Horizon 5 it's one of the worst cars in the game. What about lighter weight brakes? That could help. Yes. I spent 150k on the demon and then another 50k on upgrade. Demon dethrone the demon. This is gonna be like that Obama meme. Okay, let's go. Come on. Come on. Demon, get on the leaderboard, please. It's so... I think you can see what I mean. It is the slowest thing. It just... Like, a 10-second drag car isn't slow. The developers need to do something about this car because that's not the way it drives. Maybe an engine swap? Could an engine swap help? I don't even think an engine swap would help. Let's give it another go. We've got an extra 200 horsepower-ish. This car is such a massive L. It's honestly embarrassing to drive. I love how with a V12, it revs to 9,000 RPM nearly. Oh. Yo, that was close. That was close. Yo, 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 yo. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. I'm going to put effort into this because I actually want the demon on the leaderboard, okay? Come on, demon. Please. Please tell me I'm not wasting my time with this car. That's my worry. Like, there's a good chance this just isn't going to do it. Okay, that felt good. That felt really good. Our gears were like, bang on. I needed an 8.91. I got an 8.99. We go again. We go again. Please tell me we're fast enough. That doesn't feel very fast. Is my clutch not working? It felt like my clutch wasn't working, but I got three more miles an hour. Yes! It was fast enough! 8.8! .8. Our first mission has been completed. Now we gotta hit 215 miles an hour, which all things considered should be the easy part. 130. Oh, watch out for the traffic. 150. Oh, it's not fast. 170. Keep going. Up into sixth gear. There's 200 miles an hour. Oh, we're good. Oh, we're good. 215 miles an hour. The Dodge Demon has officially beaten the Dodge Demon. 226,650. We got to break into the 100K mark. Let's go. What the hell do we use for 100K? We can't use a GTR. Maybe a ZR1. We never drive this car. It's such a sick car. This might be a hot take. Correction, this is 100% a hot take and factually incorrect in every measurable way. But this is the best Corvette. I don't know. That's what I think. That's, that's my opinion. Drag tires again. Thank you. Then I need some thick tires. Thank you. Give me some twin turbos. And then give me some anti-lag and some camshaft. So Twitch chat says I spent 150,000 credits on this, which would be a nice amount of money. I'm still rocking manual with clutch. So hopefully that should help decrease some of our times. Oh, that feels so slow off the line. We might need to swap the engine. Oh, this is slow. Oh, that was slow. Oh, come on. I would like to apologize to all the Americans. We have taken the LS out of the Corvette. So hopefully we don't take any more L's. I will supercharge it for the Freedom and Bald Eagles, though. I had to spend another 55,000. So now I'm up to like 200,000 spent. Please. I probably should have tuned it now that I think about it. Those are some gear ratios. Why did I shift? Why did I shift? Oh, we're fine. Never mind. We're good. I suddenly like the ZR1 again. Just gonna casually do my best no hezzy impression. Oh, we don't even need to. Oh, bro, this thing's fast. Oh, this thing is mega fat. Fi finally. 
finally we're having so much trouble with the quarter mile and the top speed is just like a formality. That was 212,000. I saw some people in Twitch chat saying I should do the Catrum. Catrums are always unreal fast. If anybody works at Catrum and would like to send me one here in Canada, uh, feel free. They're literally like some of my favorite track cars of all time. And we just can't buy them here without being basically extorted. Three liter V8 from the Ariel Adam. You love to see it. And the twin turbo. I was worried about the Catrum. I am no longer worried about the Catrum. Do the United of Kingdoms proud. Away we go. Jesus Christ. That's wheel spin. It's like a go-kart. Okay, I'm... What? Wait, was that fast enough? I love the Catrum! Catrum, best car. You heard it here first. Bear with me. We're gonna do this out of order. We're gonna do the top speed first. Just keep going. Keep going. Please keep going. Please keep going. Please. Please. Three more. Two more. Thank you. That was 216. Now we gotta go and drag race it again. <laughs> Please tell me you can go back to back. Now that I think about it, we probably didn't need all of the horsepower mods that I got for this thing. We actually, like, matched the same time we did before. What a fantastic car. Say goodbye to 200,000, 156,000. The power to weight ratio was so cracked because it was so lightweight. I wonder if there's something else in here that's similar-ish. A Lotus Alain. And we're sticking with our UK theme, so let's do it. Please have an engine. Please have an engine. Ah, uh, uh, the engine swaps are shocking. To be fair, I, I said this was going to happen. I said we were going to reach a wall where it was going to be extremely difficult to like get past. And I think this is that wall. I've only got 750 horsepower. Unless by some miracle it could put the power down beautifully, it's not going to happen. Come on, 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 Alan. Good. Not so good. I don't know why second gear is non-existent. Well, it's a Lotus. Second gear probably exploded. Okay, up to fourth. Oh, I didn't even see the time, but that felt fast. So close. Come on. Ah, I still shifted early. Come on. Go, 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 go. I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yes! Lotus Alain! Lotus Alain, what a beautiful car. All right, now it's just got to do 215 miles an hour. If it can't, I'm removing this from my garage and I officially hate Lotus. Please, please, please. Oh, thank you. 117,000 credit. Do I really need to jump in the Monaro? All of Twitch chat is yelling at me saying Monaro, Monaro, Monaro. The whole thing with the Monaro is it's already got an insane engine. So all I need to do is twin turbo it. Drag racing tires, probably definitely. Weight reduction should be helpful. And then we're sub 100k. Maybe you know what? Maybe I'll just get a differential as well. So at least I can tune that. We've spent a lot of money on this thing. Please don't let me down. Please don't let me down. Please don't let me down. It doesn't feel fast. It feels so slow. So slow. It's not even funny. Eh, we can... We can probably make that up. I think we're going to be able to do it. Come on. Actually, you know what? If this Monaro actually is able to do this, it will be better than a Dodge Demon. It will be. I don't think that was fast enough. It was not fast enough. Go, come on. I got to shift a little bit earlier out of first. Come on. Get there. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! 8.8, .8, baby! The demon is coming down. We should have no problem with this. Just shift it up through the gears. Get it up into... If it somehow fails, I'm gonna cry. Please don't. P please don't fail. There's 200. 200 miles an hour up to 6. Oh, we're good. Oh, we're good. 77,000 credits spent. I am gonna try 
one more car. Welcome back to another video where I try to figure out what car is better than another car, and the only answer is the Supra. I think single turbo is an obvious choice because the single turbo can build a ridiculous amount of horsepower. That's insane. I need drag tires, obviously. Genji says don't do anti-lag. Wait, is anti-lag more expensive? Oh, anti-lag is more expensive. I'm not gonna lie. I think the Supra needs a nerf because that's just dumb. If this thing actually just does this first try. I think I've successfully wasted an hour and a half of my life. That was the worst gear shifts I think I've ever done. If it still does it first try, there's no way. There's no way. Are you kidding me? In before, my gears are not long enough to hit 250. There is actually a chance it won't hit 215. That was such a stupid thing to say. All right, well, 65,000 credits. I think I have to do one more. So I need the single turbo, that is obvious. Then I need drag tires, that is also obvious. No tire thickness. Did I even tune my gears? I don't think I did. I don't know if I need those. Now we're on 20, we're on 58,000. I think that's as cheap as you're ever gonna get. The final challenge. Not a good first gear launch. Not a good second gear. Up to third. Or sorry, make it fourth. There we go. Up to fifth. This is going to be the hard part. Come on. Please, please, please just put me out of my misery already. What a stupid car. If you're a person who likes the Dodge Demon 170, you should buy a Supra for half the money. The scary thing is, I bet you could do it for even cheaper than that. <laughs>